Lee, thank you. Toledo's mayor and police chief have just revealed the crime data for the third quarter of this year, revealing the number of incidents for crimes like homicide, robbery and car theft. Michael Sandlin just stepped out of the mayor's office. Michael, what do we know about the results of what they say where the city is right now? Amanda, just as community leaders predicted yesterday, the city's data continues to show here in quarter three that crime is on the decline in multiple key areas. Now let's take a look at the actual data. According to their research, homicide is down 30.4% compared to last year at the same time, robbery down 23.1%, burglary down 15.2%, theft from motor vehicles down 28.1%, and persons shot down 29.7%. The only crime listed that's actually on the rise continues to be auto theft with 9.9% rise compared to last year, which also saw reflected in quarter two's data as well. And while the mayor notes moving away from the pandemic has helped in the reduction of crime, he says that not every city in Ohio has seen those same reductions, pointing out that Cincinnati, Cleveland and Columbus have all seen increases in crime in the same time frame. The mayor attributes Toledo's success to active planning and effective changes in policy that have helped the glass city outpace even the national average. These are encouraging numbers. They are going down, dramatically down in a lot of cases down at a faster pace than the national average. And yet, there is no one thing that we have done to achieve this. It's everything. It's every little thing we've done adding up, in my judgment, uh, in a positive direction. But the mayor acknowledges there are still some serious issues that they want to work on, specifically violent crime involving children on both sides of the gun. Coming up in the 5 and 6 o'clock hours, we're going to be looking at the mayor's concerns on that issue and the gray area of trying to address crime involving youth. Reporting in downtown Toledo, Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.